Okay, so Santa wanted his help remembering a recipe. Let's read. Once more. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Raw meat and the spicy pepper. I mean, the, the solution should be seafood. Sea bass. So let's cook. Let's do this again. Spicy meat and seafood cook there we go we got it mission accomplished let's go find the old guy and give him his dish hello what are you doing Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, gonna make us do his dirty work. There we go. We did it. Hi. Yep. Uh, Alright. There's wood, too. We can, we can we can get wood. Aren't you supposed to give us something? Do we have to wait for you to walk back here? Hi. What are you doing? Uh, am I crazy? Do I have to actually wait for you to like come over here and sit down? Hi. I made your thing. I cooked something. There, finally. How did you? I read your diary. I'm sorry. Hi, <laughs> real bass. Okay. And finally, we have what this entire task has been about. Getting the warm doublet. We resist colder environments. Hooray. Oi. Alright. Now, finally, we've got our warm doublet. And it really... This, this is kind of a lesson of this whole temperature thing in this game. You have... Cold temperatures, you've got hot temperatures, and you can warm yourself up in one of several ways. The two most common ways are to use these recipes that give you a cold resistance on there. But equally important, we can wear equipment that keep us protected from the cold. They have cold resistance built right into them. And depending on how cold it gets, because yes, some areas of the game do get rather cold, you can actually double up on these effects to sort of increase your cold resistance even further. The, the temperature thing, it can get kind of annoying. Just because it sort of forces you to wear certain bits of equipment, and even if you don't necessarily want to do that. But uh, it's also pretty interesting. It really is. I'm going to set these guys on fire. I will also protect them from the cold. You can also kind of see on the little temperature gauge down there, like, the, like, blue part is now smaller. Basically, that's an indication of, like, how much temperature change we can take before it starts to affect us health-wise. You need to burn. You also need to burn. I believe also... Oh, dear, I don't want to be on fire. 
I believe also if you've got something like a wooden weapon and you set it on fire, it also helps keep you warm. The temperature gauge on there went back up. You got something hot near you, it also keeps you warm. And you don't have to worry about freezing as much. Could always use more arrows, thank you. Alright, finally though, we are officially in our next area here. We can start making our way to that shrine up there. I'm heading in the wrong direction. Question is, do we have enough stamina to make our way all the way up here? I probably should have done some stamina restoration items and cooked things like that. Now yeah, we should be okay. It's always definitely smart to spend some time and cook things. Sometimes, it's just so you have like, the little extra oomph you need in certain emergency situations. Of course, me being me, I don't always actually do that like I'm, I should, like a smart person would. Hello? This seems fun. Yay. <laughs> what happened? What happened, little book goblin? Did you s get set on fire with an explosion? That's a shame for you. It's always a good idea to sort of scan your environment, too. While you're wandering around. Let's see if you can see anything looks useful like bats they provide you with nice wings and it's always important to keep an eye out for anything interesting like for example this suspicious circle of stones Yay! Korok. Very good. Bye-bye. Ah, almost there. Oh, hello. I see another magical purple treasure chest. What you got for me? Bomb arrows! Yay. Oh, hello. Hi. Hope you don't mind if I stealth attack you. And, you know, stealth attack you. And, uh, maybe I could, uh... Just beat, beat you up, because the prompt there screwed up my stealth attack. Okay. Alright, finally, at the next shrine. Let's get in here. Boy, it was a trek trying to just find some fish. But we did it. We found those fish. We certainly did. Okay. Our next trial. There 
There we go. Engage the distillery. She gets late authenticated. What we got? It is Cryonis. Cryonis. Builds ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Nice. So now we have uh, magical freezy powers. Basically, any body of water we can now do this on. Oh, darn it. And we can create, I think, three pillars at a time. And we can also use it creatively, like, say, to raise gates and things. It's actually very fun. Oh, hello. Gonna need you to get out of here. There we go. The weak point is the eye. Always remember in Zelda, the weak point is the eye. Hello there. Oh, come on. Open sesame. A traveler's spear. I suppose that comes in handy. It would come in handy. We can also... Like, aim it... This way. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Tilt that upward, and now we have a ramp. Yay! Getting lots of happy jingles. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool ways you can use cryosis and cry cryosis and stuff like that. It's, it's it's simple, but it's effective. There's a lot of creativity to it. I like it. Well, that is the last of our trials. The resourcefulness of the hero, blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay, sure. Spirit Orbs. La di da. Yeah, yeah, okay. Got a smile upon us. Yeah, sure, whatever. We don't need to hear the song and dance every time. But that is all four of the shrines. And here comes Old Man Jenkins. We have acquired all the spirit shrubs from the shrines on this plateau. Extraordinary. It is finally time. It's finally time for us to tell us to tell us everything. But first. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the end points. Find the spot where those lines intersect. You shall wait for us there. Do you understand? Or two lines connecting the shrines with cross. And, uh, he's gone? Interesting. So, yes, where would these shrines meet up? Got this one here. Got this one here. Got this guy over here. This guy over here. And the center would be... Right about here. Right where? Oh, say this temple-y looking place is. I'm sure it's not too terribly important, but I guess we'll go see what the old guy wants. After a quick gathering of treasure.
Oh yeah, uh, you definitely don't want to jump in the freezing cold water. It will end badly. Very quick. Sort of, like, almost immediate death. Very important detail. Don't jump into the freezing water. While I'm thinking about it, using the freezy powers, let's go get those other treasure chests we saw before we, uh, finish off our, uh, little journey here.